Today we're going to be looking at two common codes for a General Motors vehicle and those are going to be a PO455 and a PO499. So let's see what this particular vehicle is coming up with. So there's one fault. You don't need any high dollar fancy scanner. You can actually just go to a local parts store, get it scanned for free. So here we have a PO455. Now this particular code is um, a gross EVAP emission system leak. This particular vehicle is a Buick LaCrosse with a 3.8 liter V6 in it, but this code translates to various different General Motors models along with a couple other uh, makes. So the 455 is a gross EVAP leak, but if you have a PO499, that's going to be specifically the canister purge valve. Um, today though, we're going to be replacing the canister purge valve even though it's a PO455. So the main codes attributed would be one, being a gross leak, would be the gas cap, two, in the engine bay, a vent solenoid, and three would be in the back near the fuel tank, that canister vent valve. And I'll show you here in a sec why. All right, if you have a PO455 code, gross EVAP emission system leak, easiest thing to check is your gas cap. If it's loose, go ahead, replace it. Or if the seal is dried and cracked, replace it, otherwise, what you can try to do before replacing it is spray some WD-40 around the seal here or some Vaseline. Usually that swells it up, gives it a good seal, or around this area of the filler neck, take some Scotch-Brite pads, scuff it up, put a little Vaseline, and that should take care of it. But if it's loose, broken, bad seal, just go ahead and replace it. They're usually cheap, 12, 13 bucks. Secondly, PO455 code can trigger or can be triggered by this. This is the emissions solenoid, the vent solenoid. I believe it's better referred to as. So there's one bolt, one hard line going into it, and then one pigtail, electrical pigtail right down here. I'll cue a photo now of it. Now, another option for the gross emissions leak. Crawl underneath the car here. So this is the back side of where you'd screw the gas cap into. This is the filler neck. So sometimes that can get a pinhole in it. But in this case, it's metal, so unless it's rusty, then I wouldn't even worry about it. Which obviously you can see is rust, but this is just surface rust. But anyways, this is another culprit. This is the canister vent valve. So, if you replace the gas cap, still comes up a PO455. Second thing I would replace would be this. Third would be that one in the engine bay, the vent solenoid. But basically, there's one bolt to this, which we'll be removing in a sec, uh, some lines, and then this pigtail right here. So because this is underneath the vehicle, it's susceptible to a lot of the elements. So you can see everything around it's rusted, and inside this plastic container is a solenoid and a spring and whatnot that'll get froze up and get stuck. So if this is stuck open, then you'll get the gross emissions 455 leak or sometimes if it's stuck it'll come up the PO499 code which is specific to the canister purge valve. So now we'll go ahead and replace so there's it. There's one 10 millimeter bolt right here. it up. 
undo this electrical pigtail. You may need a screwdriver or just lift up on that. Oh, bust my nail. Cool. Well, be careful. And then you need a thing of pliers to get this off. Otherwise, this just drops down. All right, so here is the canister vent valve out. Flip it over. Grab a screwdriver. Bend that tab up. And wiggle the bracket off. And save this. So inside of there is the valve and you can actually apply 12 volts wherever the end is right there 12 volts positive negative vice versa whatever apply 12 volts to it and see if that moves so this will close and um, in this case I may be stuck open so a lot of times since it's plastic there's metal bits inside this gets cracked Visually, yeah, looks like it was underneath the car for 100,000 miles, but outside of that, I mean, can't tell if it works or not until you apply voltage to it and see if this moves. Since I already have the part, I'm just going to replace it anyways, but a PO499 code will specifically relate to this, or in my case, we're going to replace it because it's a PO455, which is a gross leak, which if this is not closing, then it's not operating properly and it can show the gross leak. So, here's the new part. This is the part number, AC Delco original equipment. However, this pigtail is redesigned. So this is the old one, kind of like an oval. There's a new one, more rectangular. Actually, it's more squared. So, if you're buying this, make sure you get a adapter. Otherwise, it's not going to work for you. Now, since this is a common General Motors part, this fits on many, many different vehicles. Uh, cars, trucks, SUVs, GM. This is very popular to replace on a Colorado. But, you need to get the appropriate connector. So, this will plug into... The new one, the redesign unit, and then this will connect into what originally connected into here. So the vehicle's harness. So now let's reverse the order and install it. Okay, here you can see it's back up in there for the most part. Have the adapter on it, clipped into the new solenoid. Just need to plug the harness in, and then saw the black bracket on here, the 10 millimeter bolt. But a couple things to note, one, make sure you have this pin pushed back down on it or the solenoid can work its way off. Make sure you inspect the hoses going into it, if it's real dried and cracked, or if it has a hole in it anywhere, then it will come up another emissions code. That'll typically be a small uh, code, unless it's like totally broken. But now that there's more access with this out, get a better visual and spec the filler neck. This one being metal, it's uh, pretty solid and unless it's rusted all the way through then you really don't have to worry or worry about anything as far as emissions code goes. Um, so everything looks good here, some surface rust, nothing major. This is back in place. Hoses look old but fine for the most part. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in, plug this into the factory harness, put the 10 millimeter bolt in there and call it a day. So it's been some miles since we replaced the canister vent valve. So far, no check engine lights have since come on. So if you do have a check engine light related to the emission system, one, be sure to do your research on the code, but if it's a General Motors vehicle, um, if it's a 455 PO455, the gross leak, Start with the gas tank, or excuse me, the gas cap. Move on to the canister vent valve that we replaced, and third, the solenoid that is located in the engine bay. 
If it's the PO499, that is a direct code related to that vent valve that we replaced by the gas tank. Um, but in general, emission codes aren't that bad. Make sure to do your research. If it's a General Motors vehicle, a specifically a Buick LaCrosse with a 3.8, hopefully this video helps, but this video kind of stems across multiple different makes and models. Thanks for watching.